or not to tip. New data shows some service industry workers are being tipped less than last year. The Wall Street Journal reporting it's a rising backlash against tipping. ABC's Eva Pilgrim takes a look at the reasons why. The debate over tipping and the question of just how much gratuity is too much. From the cult classic Reservoir Dogs. Come on, throw in a buck. Uh -uh, I don't tip. You don't tip? No, I don't believe in it. To today's consumers. I think that it's evolved to the point where everything is asking for tips. Take 26-year-old Garrett Bamiller, who says that after being inundated by requests for too many tips, he's feeling what's now being called tipping fatigue. I will tip when I go out to eat at restaurants. I will tip when I order foods, but I won't tip and tend to turn it down when it's something that I already know that they're getting like a full wage for. Oh, $13, carry the three, leave a 50. New data from payroll provider Gusto reports that as of November, service sector workers in non-restaurant jobs made 7% less in tips versus a year ago from making 138 an hour in tips to now 128 an hour. Oh, and nothing. Mm -hmm. I was a waitress and um, 25%, very nice. And while tipping is down in some places, the holidays are bringing cheer for others, like workers in restaurant jobs. Gusto reporting tips are now up by 3% from last November. I think inflation is leading people to be especially stingy about how much they're spending. And I think that this proliferation of tip prompts is making people question the very nature of tipping. But I think a lot of the time, if you're being asked for a tip at the point of sale, it's up to your discretion. I think it's nice to be generous if somebody went above and beyond, but I don't think it's always expected. Around the holidays, experts do suggest tipping any person who offers a service you find helpful, like babysitters, hairstylists, and pet sitters. They say a holiday tip of one day or one week's worth of their pay is common. But of course, keep your own financial picture in mind.